Rare Telepathy Private Dog Training in Seattle, WA Since my dog can't talk, I try telepathy instead. My dog saved our ruining marriage, visit kaleichdo.com to know more. Knowing what your dog is thinking isn't easy. So I turn to an animal communicator for help. I don't know what Shelly is thinking, but maybe an animal communicator does. The most confusing thing about having a pet is trying to gauge what they're thinking. What exactly makes them nervous or irritable? If they're sick or in pain, what's wrong? And do they really pay attention to you at all? As much as you might hope for a witty talking dog like Brian, the martini swilling pooch from Family Guy. We have to rely instead on guesswork, visits to the vet and observation to learn and interpret their behavior. It's equal parts fascinating, worrying and frustrating to determine why your cat sulks or your dog won't stop barking at nothing. But maybe there's another answer. Could telepathy tell us what's going on in those furry heads? I personally don't call what I do a psychic reading. I call it animal communication because it's really a back and forth conversation, a conversation that goes through me, she says. I'm using telepathy, which has a deep intuition. Dogs are playful animals, and they have a sense of humor. Sometimes they play pranks on us or do things to amuse us. Like picking up a stick and running with it when we go to pick it up, waiting for us and running when we get close, etc. Without a doubt, they are playing with us. And they love to make us laugh. Any dog can exhibit this type of behavior, but some breeds are known to have a greater sense of humor than others. Generally, the funniest breeds are those that like to play. The sense of humor of dogs. Dogs, and especially some breeds, have a sense of humor. They take life with joy and are always ready to do mischief and play with us. To make the games fun, they do not hesitate to improvise and show their ingenuity. Their playful and outgoing nature is due to having a puppy mentality. This is due to what is known as neoteny, which means that dog breeds have been developed so that they do not fully mature. Since in the puppy stage, animals are more capable of learning and carrying out work to those who have been raised. And it is what allows dogs to be unconditional and happy companions, always ready to play and do things that make us laugh. But in addition to being playful, dogs have a sense of humor. The first scientist to suggest this was Charles Darwin, who observed that dogs could improvise at play and wait for their owner to come up for a stick and run off with it. Enjoying the deception, since then, there have been more studies that have led to the conclusion that dogs can laugh, something that you have probably already verified with yours. And that this laugh is associated with situations that amuse them. Dogs' sense of humor is associated with their willingness to play. Obviously, not all races have the same character. Some are more serious than others, others are dependent on their owner. Others are independent and even surly. Playful and cheerful breeds display a sense of humor. That leads them to do things that will make us laugh too. In general, shepherd and working dogs show the most sense of humor. Is it true that dogs laugh? Dogs have behaviors that show their desire to play. They bend down resting their chest on the ground and raising their butt to indicate that they want to have fun and invite us to join them at the party. In addition, the investigation carried out in this regard has concluded that they also laugh. Their jaws open showing their tongue, and they show a grimace that looks like a smile. Also, they get turned on and start panting. The ethnologist Conrad Lorne studied this panting, compared with other canine vocalizations. With this, he concluded that the gasp they emit when playing is specific and, although it may sound similar to any other gasp, it is actually different. In fact, they identified a pronounced strong exhale specific to these situations, which they termed the dog's laugh. When other dogs heard him, they responded by playing bows, wagging their tails or playing chase. Again, this private dog training in Seattle WA actually was a lifesaver and also to our ruining marriage, visit collectio.com to know more.